Hi everybody! Very nice you're tuning in again. If you didn't watch our first video where I explain all the different parts of the mixing table model, please view that first, look at that first, because otherwise it will be difficult to follow this session. So for those who already watched the first video, really welcome. Today we're going to try some combinations of the mixing table model. My name is Katrin van Opstal. I'm a jazz singer and a jazz researcher at Royal Conservatoire of Antwerp in Belgium. And by my side is the guitar player Hendrik Braakman. <laughs> he's the world's best guitar player and he's also the advisor in my research. So I'm really happy, I'm really honored to have him accompany me. Today we're going to try some variations because uh, if you, uh, looking at the mixing table model, if you really use uh, clear speech, clear cry, clear falsetto, that's not so much heard in music. It, it is, it is actually, but not so much. So a lot of times you're going to use combinations. Although it's really important and really good to practice them clear first, because then you really feel, ah, yeah, in speech, these are my thick vocal, true vocal folds and everything else is relaxed so you can really feel your stiff folds or you can really feel if you cry that you're tilting and that your throat is wider. So it's really good to practice them clear first. So once you've done that, let's have fun with variations. And this is just like an exercise um, to explore further your voice and how your body is connected to your sound. So Hendrik, would you play for me something minor, uh, chord progression, yes, maybe four bars, yeah, um, let's do that. yeah, super, okay, I'm gonna start in speech. I'm gonna add some AES. Let's add some torso. Speech with AS, with cry, which actually happens a lot in swing. So this should make it work, give it a more swing, it would make the swing work better. What else have you got? Let's... I'm gonna play with my larynx. Speech, AS, and playing with the larynx. Let's see how that goes. Bye. That's low Lawrence, right? Hi Larynx. Wow. 
well and I raise my larynx a bit also. It gives me like, like a, I'm like a little, I feel like a little trumpet with a, a sardine in. Maybe if I raise the larynx even higher, it gets even more. <laughs> okay, let's move to Facetto. What does that give us? Ooh. And uh, Facetto with a little bit of AS. gentlemen Hendrik Braakman thank you <laughs> so this is this is just you know this is just kidding around this is fooling around with your voice to get to know all the different aspects how they feel and how they sound and this is this is so great because this is we're just experimenting I didn't know it was gonna come out and I noticed that when I ch- well I change sounds in in my head and in my feeling I also change the instruments like one time I felt more like a trumpet, otherwise like a, the other time like a saxophone player, like a trombone player. And I noticed I also um, changed my, um, my uh, syllables. So also nice to do. And Hendrik, I, I, I don't I know for you. Also, yeah, you change your, yeah. Other sound, other. Yeah, so isn't that nice to do just by going around in your voice that you could you explore all these different aspects so what's next now we're going to play a song in the next video so tune in for that we're going to play a song where i will um, use a lot of these combinations and then you can find out what they are and uh, you can also get some inspiration um I also have the good news that we are working on a book with exercises so you can practice all of this more. So tune in, check out our videos, leave something in the comments. You can ask requests too. And uh, big thanks to Hendrik Brakman and to Olivier who is recording all of this. And see you next time. Bye.